This is Redman coming to you live from Poughkeepsie, New York, for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony. Hello, Poughkeepsie. Make some fucking noise. Wow, we really did it this time. Brian Redband's here, everybody. Hey. We will do anything to do more episodes of this show, even Poughkeepsie, New York. <laughs> Why should we settle for two crazy shows tomorrow at the Gramercy when we can squeeze every last drop out of this week-long <laughs> trip to New York? Yes. Sure, we'll drive an hour and a half north to whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> this is some crazy show. For those of you listening to the podcast, very small stage. Yeah, Everything yeah. is packed absolutely tight. I'm going to be way closer to these fucking human beings than I want to be tonight. <laughs> This is frightening. And if we just take one inch this way, we're going to fall backwards. Yeah, so. there's no back to this stage. <laughs> Anything can happen. Do not fucking touch me. <laughs> Nobody. Not a single one of you, even if you're desperate and everything's going terrible, don't fucking touch me. And if anybody touches me, I'm going to throw you in the Hudson River. Now, that actually sounds nice. That sounds like a reward. If you live here in Poughkeepsie, it seems like that'd be a good way to go. Tony Hinchcliffe killed him. He drowned him in the Hudson River. Uh, very exciting stuff. We are here in New York. This is, uh, we just landed today from Los Angeles, California. And I want to let you know that we do still have tickets available for the 10 p.m. show tomorrow night. If, uh, if, anybody, uh, if anybody wants a little inside information, and those of you listening to the podcast will know this already because it will probably be uh, uploaded right around now. But we have an ex we just added, I found out, Probably right when doors opened up, you may have heard me screaming, fuck yes, from that back room, because we literally just found out about our secret guest tomorrow night at 10 p.m. It'll be his first time ever on Kill Tony. I'm just giving you a little inside information. I'm just being nice to you guys right now, you fucking 180 schlubs that made it here tonight. <laughs> I'm giving you inside information that if you happen to have the fucking energy or and money and time tomorrow at 10 p.m., there's still tickets available for what will be... I mean, literally, we're so fucking pumped about this episode. There's also a 7 p.m. show that's sold out, but the 10 p.m. is still available, and the secret guest is only going to be at the 10 p.m. We'll have a secret guest for the 7 p.m. too, but this secret guest is only going to be on the 10 p.m. So that's very exciting. You don't want to say who it is? It's not live stream, so it doesn't really matter. Really? Should I tell him? I think you should. But they might post about it. These people can't keep their fucking so mouths what? shut. So what? These people are all like, Tawana Brawley up here. You know what I mean? They'll fucking... It's definitely one of the biggest people we've ever had on the show. Yeah, it is. It's truly one of my favorite comedians. It is Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez's favorite comedian in the world. Uh, so, you know, yeah, just do it. Uh, I don't need to tell you who the fuck it is. You'll end up finding out. If you, if you have the balls, you'll just buy a fucking ticket. You'll make the goddamn drive, and we'll see you there. Uh, I love the movie Aladdin. Okay, Brian, you're an idiot. I mean, you're just, sometimes you just boggle my mind. Uh, very, don't shake your le big leg like that either. It <laughs> moves the entire stage. We have a show in Philadelphia at the Fillmore, July 25th. Very exciting. Kill Tony Mania, still on pace. Sacramento and San Francisco for October and some other fun stuff. Fort Worth, Texas is already sold out before we announced it. And we just added a show in Plano right before that. Plano Kill Tony for the first time ever the day before Fort Worth. That's, uh, I think, uh, July uh, 10th or July 11th, one of those two. Um, uh, which brings me to now. Uh, Ryan J. Ebelt, the house artist, of course, could not make it. However, he did send along some, uh, you'll be the first to get a chance, Adam, the New York uh, leg of posters, which features uh, everyone, all your favorite castmates of the show, and uh, we'll be selling those right after the show and signing them for you and taking pictures with you. You guys excited to be here or what? 
There's no guests for this show. As always, on every road show, uh, we go guestless, uh, except for tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Tickets still available. Uh, however, we do have a band, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to bring them with us. You'll never believe who it is. It's shocking. Uh, every single episode, they commit to being different characters and staying in character. I never know what they're going to be or what they're going to do. Uh, sometimes it's a brand new character. Sometimes it's the return of one of our favorite characters that we've ever seen before. Anything can happen. They're one of my favorite things in all of comedy. Let's see how loud this place can get for the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins and Joelberg Joel Jimenez. Buffalo Soldier, this should be interesting. Wait a second. Wait, what is this? Wait a second. What? Wait a second, what? Wait, are these bisons? Oh my God. This is incredible. This is the first time they've ever been on this show. I can't believe you are debuting a, a wild new character here in Lucky Poughkeepsie, New York. I don't know if you guys know about any of our road trips that we've taken, but, uh, but I saw a bison on the way from Salt Lake City to Boise. These guys swear it was a cow. None of them have eyesight as good of mine, nor were they looking where I was looking when I first saw them. They swear they were cows, that we've made a long-running joke about it, even though in retrospect I went and researched where bison exist. It just so happens to be right between Salt Lake City and Boise, Idaho. But it must have been my imagination. But here we are with two bison, everybody. They're here. For those of you listening to the podcast, these are straight up cow uniforms from head to toe. Uh, they have hats with little like the strings that attach on. They have wow. udders. Look how big those are. My goodness. Look at those fucking bangers. And I'm not even excited yet. <laughs> What's your name, head bison? Phil. Phil? All right. Hell yeah. Uh, and, so and, uh, and how about you? Guy who looks like he took the strangest way to sneak in from Mexico. <laughs> just, a, <laughs> just a cow. I'm no, no, need, no need to check my papers. Moo. Moo. I'm an American bison, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jimmis. Jimmis? That's right. So, okay. What? Hell yeah. I Great American bison. I have to write these down to remember them. This is so exciting. Look, someone made us this bucket, everybody. How fucking cool is that? Wow, that's great. This is someone in Poughkeepsie. Oh, and it's actually from Disney. They didn't Disney even made. leave a they didn't even leave a name or anything. Just a secret admirer. Very, very cool. Very exciting. And we have the band, we have Red Band and the Bucket of Destiny. If I pull your name out of this bucket, uh, you get sixty seconds on this stage. You know how it works. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry Poughkeepsie primetime bear. Was that the right reference? The primetime bear? Yeah. There was many arguments uh, in the back about what the gayest part of Poughkeepsie is. <laughs> Everybody just kept saying uh, every part is the gayest part. <laughs> Of Poughkeepsie. And then I asked what the trashiest part of Poughkeepsie was. They're like, it's two blocks away, dude. I'm like, what's the black part of Poughkeepsie? Two blocks away. Like, is there anywhere where there's any prostitutes? Two blocks away. <laughs> to get and on the stage, also, there's a little stool here. Just don't touch us when you get on stage. Yep. Yep. Brian is uh, fully dialed in. Be hard to touch you. Yeah. Uh, he, they'd have to literally reach over me. Yes. At which, which point... I would, I would throw them in the Hudson River. <laughs> um, this is very exciting. Everything feels absolutely perfect in here. Um, you guys excited about this? <laughs> Poughkeepsie. P-O-U-G-H-K-E-E-P-S-I-E. Yes. I mean, you have to be a special type of person to just stop here. You know what I mean? To just like, ah, this is close enough to the greatest city in the world. <laughs> I'm just going to stop here. Hour and a half. Let's just fucking do it. Raise a fucking family. Hang out with my buddies from high school and just die slowly. You know what I mean? I'm excited to see what type of people we meet here and pull out of this bucket. Uh, so let's fucking start this thing, right? It's the first ever Poughkeepsie Kill Tony. 
One night only. Forever and ever. You will drive to New York City from now on. But tonight is our night. You guys ready to start this motherfucker or what? Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Pull the name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for your first comedian. He goes by the name of, all right, Colin Kaepernick. This is retarded already. <laughs> We're starting off with a bang. Oh, it's a real guy. Here he comes. There is a human coming to the stage. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? One more time for Colin, everybody. Hi, everyone. Uh, please don't let the rain clouds fool you. It is still wedding season in the Hudson Valley. Uh, as a musician, that's very exciting. I get to go make a little extra skrill. But uh, you also become very aware of how creepy weddings are. Just all of them, blanket. And you don't have to look very hard. You find little My Little Pony themed weddings and uh, Star Wars weddings and Game of Thrones weddings. And I'm pretty sure that's when you, you kiss the bride and then you take your sister back to the hotel room. But, uh, but no one beats it like a straight-up Catholic wedding. I drove down to my cousin's, and it's at the first church of his most precious blood. Uh, I put a condom on under my pants just to be rebellious. Uh, but uh, you go in there, pastor spends half the time uh, talking about the woman's place in the relationship, and the other half with some very uh, surprisingly non-relatable anecdotes from the Bible, like Job was laying in bed one night, and he turned to his wife and said, sister. <laughs> wow, there you go, Colin Kaepernick. Is that your real name? No, it is not, Tony. W uh, just out of curiosity, why, why are you going by the name Colin Kaepernick? Because I'm running for office in my town and I have to be a little reserved. <laughs> You're running for office in your town. Yes, I'm I am. I'm guessing that town is, uh, what, 50 minutes north of here? <laughs> How did you, maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is exciting. No, I could tell because uh, that's fucking crazy that you're running for office in whatever town that is. I can't imagine what kind of hillbilly bumpkin <laughs> bullshit town that must be. And I'm just guessing, doing the math, it seems like there'd be more pro in more important cities, like an hour and a half, two hours north here, but right in that fucking middle, I could just picture a fucking, yeah. like a washed up fucking 37 year old running yeah. for office. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, and, and believe it or not, I do bring the average age of the uh, politician in my town down by about three decades. No, I love it. I love it. And you're running for what, mayor? Uh, town councilman. Town councilman. And what are some of your uh, proposed uh, <laughs> things that you're going to provide for? Uh, uh, well, uh, there's... Uh, Can you give us a really ballpark of the population? 7,000. 7,000. Heck yeah. Very good. <laughs> Uh -huh. You, you, you want to yes. hear my platform? Yeah, I do. I want to hear your platform. Right. I've already heard your comedy. I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> so, I'd much uh, rather hear your political right, view. Fair enough. So, uh, you know, we've got, uh, we, we're a small town, but we do have a huge, huge amount of tourism. And uh, one of the things that's been taken over a lot in the Hudson Valley is Airbnbs. Uh, people are allowed to rent their homes out uh, uh -huh. without uh, living there. Uh -huh. And so residential areas are sort of becoming little ghost towns where no one lives anymore. <laughs> and I'd uh -huh. like to see that. Uh, I'd like to see that end, Tony. I'd like so to you're see going to, one of your proposals to be town councilman is to end it localized Airbnb? Uh, no, just, 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 the pe just, the, just the people who don't live there full time because we have uh, a lot of problems with trash, noise disturbances, the police... Uh, are acting a lot like hotel uh, and security. You think, <laughs> and it's the people that are staying, the people that are staying at the Airbnbs are the ones doing this? Uh, the, well, when I knock doors, I, I always hear a story about, oh yeah, that Airbnb down the block. Uh, they're, you know, blasting music into the night and all this stuff. It's not my... But uh, how is it possible I, that everybody that stays at an Airbnb would be blasting music? Like everybody, it's a different person that gets it, right? Oh, no, I mean... It, if it's I, the same house blasting music, it's probably not the Airbnb. Well, that's the, well, the whole thing is that these are the ones where there's no one actually living there full time. So the people who would be policing their own home 
are no longer are there to do that. Wow. And you want to end that. So what yeah. what that would do is that would end that would that would that would minimize the tourism that you're talking about, no, right? Where would those people stay? So the I and I do promise there are much the more fir- there your are much first more idea yeah. re- literally shrinks yeah, your no, economy. No, this is fun. This is this is good because Whoa. I'm not really a comedian and so punching oh, up we my know, po- we know. Yeah. So yeah. punching up my politics is yeah. probably the best way to go I about it. I love this. it. Let's do it. We'll um, go th- we'll go through all of them. I want to hear what you think about black people next <laughs> that's what he means that's what he means when he says people blasting music <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. Air, oh. Air, airbnb and by bnb i mean blacks and bisons you know what i'm saying <laughs> we need to get rid of these airbnbs and these air jordans am i right people <laughs> No, but uh, I, I, it's prob- the, the, my platform is ba- basically, I've, I've been pressured to whittle it down to two words, and it all comes down to community first. If we've had uh, anything emblematic nationally over the past several decades, it's just the idea of putting capital before people. And, uh, you know, people I think want money, though. See, you're missing out on this thing. We're putting capital before people, but people want to make money. Oh, I want to make money, too, but I'd also like permanent shelter. And, permanent uh, shelter. And, and Wouldn't we all? In, in the place where I was raised, no less. <laughs> Say that again, Bison. I said, wouldn't we all like permanent shelter? <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a bison. He lives outside all the time. <laughs> no, I'd l- I, I would add, if you want to keep talking about my, the small town politics, I will what do you think about abo- continue to bore you. What do you think about abortion or uh, black abortion? Oh. <laughs> Uh, as it's two different issues. Uh, on, <laughs> this is why I didn't uh, share my real name. Uh, I'm all for it. <laughs> Good all thing your it. face isn't on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that guy's not a video Idiot. podcast on YouTube. <laughs> I, I've, o- I, I guess I took that for granted. I've only uh, listened to the podcast over the last uh, several years, and I just have to say I've, uh, I'm a huge fan of what you guys do. I think it's wonderful. It's like a, it's like a it's traveling All right, you got our college. vote. You got our vote. Uh, <laughs> But you are pro-choice, right? Absolutely. Is there anything else about your policies that we'd be surprised to know about you? Uh, yeah, if I, I was if I was to vote for you, what are you going to do for bison? Uh, well, yeah. I've already pretty much cut you entirely out of my diet for the most part. Yeah, uh, why? How is that? Uh, well, I, I've, I'm what I'm casually referring to as a grocery store vegetarian. <laughs> I, uh, it's raining. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of dick, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, that's what. But, uh, th- but yeah, the uh, I just try my best to to not buy meat at the grocery store. It's Where do you get your meat from? If, if if on a special occasion, a restaurant. <laughs> that's special about it. Special occasion, a restaurant. Have you ever had any bison milk before? <laughs> Good question. Have you had bison milk before? <laughs> not yet. W- no. Would you like to try <laughs> some right now? I don't know. Uh, Annie up, I guess. How many of you want to see th- this guy suck the bison's tit real quick? Leg, leg up. Here we go. It's coming. Come on. Put your mouth on it. Shove it in there. <laughs> oh, the, oh, he, oh, he chickened out at the Wait, end. Wait, do I, do I have to finish myself off? I don't know, I don't know where you... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, I just you're doing hey, it right. Hey, hey. Look at that. He's taking the red band approach to yes. finishing himself off. <laughs> That's how you do it. All, Give right, it all, right, all right, come already. Jesus. I, just, I just don't know where that udder got rented from is all. So, you uh, know, oh, my goodness. Careful. Well, community first, right? That, that's it. Hell yeah. But I, I just not the black community. <laughs> That one was not me, if it, for people listening to the podcast. <laughs> it was definitely him. But, but I, do pr- <laughs> I do promise there are more interesting, less dry uh, things about me than that. And no. But that I can share more about if you want to know them. I love it. I mean, that's really interesting stuff. But we already spent a bunch of time with you because we never get to talk with someone running for uh, a small town town count- councilman. You just got to get out there and do it. Uh, is there uh, anything else that you feel like the, mo- you know, the craziest thing about you that we should all know? Um, well, um, I, I just have a bunch of hobbies. I'm pr- kind of like the least interesting yet most interesting person. That's why I was ending it, dude. <laughs> and you're like, there's a bunch of other stuff interesting about me. I'm I like, love, what? He's like, ah, that's I, it. I love to build guitars. I keep bees. Uh, I live on a mountain. I oh, play I bluegrass. And if you uh, are thinking about running for office or you want to yell at someone who is, you should really do that because you, there's not a lot of time. We've very, got very good, very good. That's, that's great. It got weird there at the end. I love that. Where do you you keep bees? 
I do. You keep bees. Is that what you call black people? Hey, come on. It's a lot of... We're trying to make this guy out to be a racist no. here tonight. That's our goal. I, I'd like to just preface that my, my running mate is black, and that's... Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez so is Louise. <laughs> this guy will do anything and, for the vote. And gay. He's black and gay? Yeah. Oh, oh my I, God. My best friend's a gay black bison. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Black and gay. Good luck winning that election. <laughs> I know a lot of seven towns with 7,000 people that are like, oh, I'd love a candidate that's both black and gay. <laughs> no, we're not, they're not. It's funny, it's the opposite when you go further north. The further, further north you go, it gets actually more and more like that. I love it. There he goes, Colin Kaepernick, everybody. Yes. On to the next Vote one. Vote for him, man. E-I-E-I-O, yeah, and on that farm he had a pig. E-I-E-I, motherfucking O, yeah. From that ledge, my friend, yeah. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some fucking noise for Nicole Pressler, everybody. Place goes crazy for Nicole Pressler. I'm gonna sit this for love. I would do oh, anything comes. for love, but I won't do that. Gently here she is, on. Nicole Pressler. Won't do that. Woo! Hell yeah. Woo! Woo! I didn't know if I was going to make it here today, guys. I was feeling a little under the weather. I have a bun in the oven, or that's what I've been calling my recurrent yeast infections now. <laughs> I did have a bun in the oven, though. That's why you see all this excess baby weight. She's six. <laughs> and my, my daughter, like, she killed everything. She killed my bladder. I pee myself all the time. I pee myself if I sneeze, if I cough. I'm peeing myself right now. Hope it doesn't get on you. But even worse, I pee myself in the bedroom the down and dirty time. But ladies, I have a tip for you. If you pee yourself in the bedroom and you call it squirting, the guys love it. <laughs> yeah. And, all right, woo! Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Woo! Nicole awesome. Pressler, Hell ladies yeah. and woo! gentlemen. Heck yeah. One of my favorite characters from Nickelodeon's Wild and Crazy Kids. <laughs> uh, let's check in with uh, Phil. Can I just say it's nice to have another bison on stage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Nicole, you are you have great fucking jokes, man. How long have you been doing stand-up for? At least About two years. I was just going to say at least a couple years. Hell yeah. Those, I mean, just great. Thank Great you. delivery, so likable, right in the Thank pocket. You. And look at you, you're just a fucking little fucking ball of fun, aren't oh. you? <laughs> Jiggle pop. Wow, hell yeah, you're loud as fuck, too, oh, yeah. huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> you are. If they scream, they cream. <laughs> You're you're uh you're like uh you're like the little girl from Monsters Inc. If she was raised by the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nicole, I'm really excited about this. I don't know if you know this, Nicole, but we have a running uh, game on this show, and now is the time where I ask you, what is in that fanny pack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nicole, what do you do for work? Um, I'm actually a commercial insurance agent. Wow, what kind of commercials? Arby's? <laughs> yes, yeah, part-time Arby's, definitely wow. for sure. Never... I love food. Yeah, wow. I don't know if I'm pregnant or just, you know, full still. Commercial I don't know. Commercial insurance. Yeah. That is so interesting. Never met anybody in the CIA before. <laughs> Do you really pee yourself all the time? Is that a... Is oh, that no, that's so true. It's so bad. Yeah. I have to plan my pee break. Do you no, put, like, paper I'm towels like, down there so it won't dribble out? No, or what I, do you just, do? I just change my pants and wash them a lot. Uh, so. There you go. This is yeah. the happiest red band has ever been during <laughs> <Andy>. <laughs> <laughs> this is Red Band hitting the Powerball. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Look at you. Hey. Commercial insurance. Yep. I fucking love it. You deal with a lot of people's bullshit all day? Oh, God. It was so bad. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, about nine years You now. from here in Poughkeepsie? Uh, High Park. It's close to here. It's still shit. Heck yeah. Yeah. 
Hi, you call it Hyde Park because that's what all the kids do when they see you coming down this street. <laughs> That sounds about right. <laughs> I love it. You're adorable. You really have a six-year-old girl? Yes. And that's your only child? Yep. That's so fun. You still with the baby daddy? Oh, God. He's a, it's complicated. Oh, is he in jail? No, no. Oh. Thank God. No. He's, he's free range now. <laughs> <laughs> What? He's, he's can, a wild one, too. Can you explain to us? I, I, bet, uh, I think these people would uh, like to know yeah, why it's complicated. Um, he's down for, you know, banging other, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we could get real. Is I it, mean, we could be a long time. Is he, uh, is he, uh, is he, uh, this has already been such a racist episode, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm just going to oh, ask. Oh, I have a Puerto Rican daughter, yes. A Puerto Rican? Yeah, she's a quarter Puerto Rican. So he's half Puerto Rican? Yes. What's the other half? Um, it's a mix of like German and oh, a okay. bunch of other stuff. Okay, heck yeah. yeah. Uh, and so he has sex with a lot of different women. Yes. And and are you, are you okay with that or does it bother you? Do you oh. Have, you have sex with other guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I definitely, I mean, the, you know, the whole peeing thing and, yeah. the, you know, I was like, had one hole for a while, not two, but after I had my kid, you know. Ripped apart. Yeah. yeah, you in a hole. Did you get wow. the daddy stitch? Did they you, make it a little bit um, bigger I for you or smaller? I do it tighter. Yeah. And then she looked at me like I was crazy because she was hosing me down, you know. Yeah, right. yeah they get real intimate, you know. When God. They do this on a farm? And they what? sew you. <laughs> they hosed you down? Yeah. They, it's a bad birthing is like gross. Whoa. Wow. I love what do you, it. I know. What do you like to, when you're not slinging insurance or doing stand-up, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, anything with You like to just lay on your back and float down the Hudson River? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anything with my daughter, honestly. That's yeah. what I enjoy doing. Yeah. I mean, anything with her. What going to the zoo when I'm not the zoo, you know. Hey, I mean, yeah, yeah, I know, you beat I know, me to it on that one. You set I me did, up. I'm I like, you are the zoo. I was trying. Yeah. I was trying. That is so fucking cool. You are. You have so much. Uh, you have so much natural ability. You ever go down to New York City and perform there? Um, I was for a while, and then just you know, with having you know life, it was right. just a little hard financially to keep doing that. But right. I definitely want to. As she's getting older now, to be able to do more. Yeah. Well, that is so fucking cool. And uh, and uh, I you mean, you guys are so fucking cool. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. You ever? <laughs> You know what? Just for that, I'm going to let you touch me. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Go I won't go too crazy. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm going to check in with uh, J- Jimis. You ever, you ever thought of changing your name to Zoe Diaz? Why would, why would, why, why, why would she do that? <laughs> oh, because of Joey Diaz. <laughs> Oh, no. I didn't get Zoe it. <laughs> Coco <laughs> Diaz. That's right. Yeah. Zoe Ho Ho Diaz. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Sorry. Nic- I was raised on a farm. Nicole, <laughs> I think you're absolutely amazing. And I'll tell you what. If we ever do another show locally around here yeah. or anywhere uh, in your area that you can make it to, hit us up on social media and we'll just oh. give you a minute on yeah. that next show. Thank Definitely you so that. much. Really that is amazing. Thank I just love you. There she goes, Nicole Pressler, everybody. She's so adorable. Be careful. <laughs> do anything for love, but I won't do that. <laughs> no, no, I won't do that. Put your hands together for your next comedian. We're going to keep it moving along. You guys having fun yet? We're in it. We've already, it's, we're already in the fucking storm. Put your hands together for Ryan Sullivan, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Sullivan. Hey. Here he is. One more time for Ryan Sullivan. What's up, everybody? My name's Ryan Sullivan. Yes, I do have a paper in my hand. Go fuck yourself. Woke up this morning to a blowjob. That's why my throat hurts. So if I sound a little weird, it's because of that. Um, I'm not this fat, just swallowed a bean bag before I got up here. The service is amazing, thanks guys. In the back, bean bag, do they have bean bags? I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> trying to get my girlfriend to lactate, not for any sexual reasons, just to save on groceries. You know, 
Some more Captain Crunch, woman. My cat's been missing for three years because the internet told me cat calling was inappropriate. Fluffy. I'm glad he's gone though because he's lactose intolerant. It means he has no toes and hates Jews. Lax toes. Stay with me. Um. <laughs> oh shit. There he is, right? That quick. Sullivan. Fuck. Same build and sl- just slightly more facial hair than Nicole Pressler. <laughs> this is exciting. Not yeah. much has changed yeah. up here. I was like, I don't want to follow that, man. Fuck. Right, right. Unless it's we're the same person. You don't want to follow the herd. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, uh, Ryan? How long have you been doing stand up? Um, seven months, eight months. Seven months. Heck yeah. How old are you? Um, thirty-four. Thirty-four. What do you do for work? I'm a barista, Ooh. making coffee, slinging coffee. Heck yeah. If you do if you sling coffee. Yeah. yeah. No, you you can try to make it sound as cool as you'd like. Dude, uh, it's fucking it's. I fucking I toss coffee. Tosses. I fucking, uh, you know, I fucking spin foam. coffee. Huh? A lot of foam. Uh, I was just thinking of other stuff. Never mind. Oh, okay. He said spin <laughs> coffee. Give me a Sp- bam, bam. There you go. No, so uh, no, you're, how long have you been a barista that. for? Uh, a few months. Um, I got fired from my last job. What was that job? Uh, worked at a local grocery store. Ah, uh, you were fucking sneaking shit home with you. Huh? No, no, uh, I, I wasn't. Um... Uh, I got fired because I was getting too many compliments. Yeah, uh, about what? What were they complimenting you on your breasts? <laughs> yeah, they were like. I think like, you said you condiments wrong. <laughs> condiments. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get a ton of fat jokes. So. Yeah, 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 a ton literally. Of them. You guys are both really skinny. Congratulations. Were you really getting compliments? Or you well, there was a thing where it's like, if you get a compliment, you get a free lunch. But no one knew about the program. So you just had to like get a compliment if somebody was nice. Uh, so I started telling people like, yo, if you go give me a compliment, I get chicken wings. So wow. after yeah. about, you get one a month, if that, and I got five in a day. So wow. got in trouble for getting compliments at my job. Wow. Yeah. My God, That's look at you. That, that is fucked up. You, you were just getting compliments. You were in those compliments. Yeah, yeah, I was in, in those compliments. Hell yeah. Just eating a bunch of fucking chicken. Chicken wings. I love it. So uh, what, uh, what more about you, Ryan? What do you like to do for fun? You live here in Poughkeepsie? I live in Poughkeepsie. I was born in San Jose, but I uh, grew up here, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you do for fun? Um, uh, I like to do art. I like to do art. What um, kind of art? I like to sculpt, paint, um, write. Which is art too. Really? Huh. Yeah. I find that interesting about you. Thank no, you. I, I look dumb, but yeah, it's uh. Yeah, you do. That's yeah, I do. I agree. That's what's good. Like they no one expect anything from me because uh, that's how I look. Is it, like, is it hard to sculpt paint? Like you know, because it's a liquid and stuff like that. Um, if you let it dry, you can mm. totally fucking mm. sculpt. You have it a now. girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. How long you been with her? Uh. Uh, she knows that information. Uh, like uh, six yep. months, seven months. Six months. Yeah. Everything uh, about you is only a few months old. This is yeah, interesting. You were yeah. living a whole nother life seven months ago. Exactly. Uh, so six months. What does she do? Um, she works at the place that got fired from. Oh, the grocery yeah, store. Yeah. 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 Up at the grocery store. My goodness. And uh, did you guys first hook up at the grocery store? No, no. Um, in the back seat of her car, actually. Wow, must be a suburban, spot. huh? <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Yeah, the motor home. Actually, we were in the <laughs> yeah. back, flat screen. The back. Was it really the back seat of her car? How did that happen? Um, well, she has two kids, and I have a dirty room, so I was like, "Yo, let's just sit in the back of your car." <laughs> Damn. And, uh, and then, so like, what kind of car was it in real life? Uh, the Mazda. It's yeah. a Mazda. It's a, it's a full. It's a full. Shit, it was a low rider by the time you guys were done with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the back seat of a Mazda and you're like, let's fucking do this. So like, what happens? Does she get on top of you? No, no, no. Hell no. No. Uh, right. We're like, we side but lay down kind of. Side lay Yeah, down. like, you know. So you're like, your like knees are bent and your legs are like long ways against one door, right? 
<laughs> or did you guys go doors open? <laughs> no, 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 no. We didn't do doors open. Um, the smell out. No, we just sat side by side and then just kind of just rolled side into it. Side by side and then just had like rolled. sideways sex. Just rolled I'm into just, it, yeah. I'm just not picturing the logistics of this working out. I mean, if she puts her butt here would and you be willing legs. to? Uh, would you be willing to show on... Oh, shit, on, I almost uh, touched you. I'm sorry. Would you be willing to show on uh, Jeremiah... Uh, how, what type, how you guys did it. But let me remind you, you have to keep it within a Mazda's distance of each other. Like even this, even you guys are already too far apart than the this back is too far of a apart. Mazda. So just, exactly. so just sort of slouch next to him and show us how you did it. How it went, you, you that way. And, but you're in the chair though. You're in the chair. Then I'm in the chair and I'm like, hey baby, what's, what's up? And then... So That's you think a Mazda from ground to ceiling is like this? No, I mean, we were laid back. I'm just saying it was, you know. How many of you are calling bullshit like with me on this Mazda thing? <laughs> She's show sitting me, right show there. Me, show She's me, sitting right there. Why, why, why show wouldn't, me why on his that? utter what she did with your penis. Oh, dude, she was like. <laughs> Fuck a man. sad hand job? All right. Yeah. Sorry. My goodness, a Mazda. That is just incredible. You guys uh, planning on having kids or anything like that? Cause, oh, cause no. Because my, no my guess is you keep fucking in the backseat of a Mazda, you're not going to have much of a choice. I think that it's going to be re- one time you're going to find yourself in a position where it's really hard to pull out because you physically can't. Because there's yeah. so much <laughs> stuff behind and in front of you that you're just like, fuck, I'm coming inside of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to fucking, yeah, cartwheel out of that shit or something. So I don't know. <laughs> no kids. Have you, so you guys have had sex a few times in the Mazda? You ever, you ever uh, when things got uh, steamier than those Mazda windows, did you end up taking her to your dirty room? Yeah, well, I cleaned up and um, bought a bed. That's how bad it was. Wow, what were you sleeping on? Laundry? No, I was on a bed, but it was like a hand-me-down bed. Like, uh. never had any fucking money, so got a hand-me-down bed and then... Uh, then somebody was like, I want to be in your bed, too. And I'm like, that's not an option. So wow. she I bought re- a, Let me tell you something. This chick bed really, really, really loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I love it, Ryan. Well, you've been doing this a few months. Did you have fun here tonight? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm just glad to be able to let, let, let me in the building because I've been banned from this place like twice already. Really? Why? 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 Yeah. You a heavy drinker? Well, I no, know you're, no, I know you're no. heavy, but are you a drinker? Yeah, well, I'm a drinker, but um, <laughs> what happened? No, they just don't like they don't like hats or Timberlands into this place. Oh. Hats? Oh my God, what are those? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're wearing Crocs. Boom. Oh my God. Boom. Look at this. The fucking. Why do you yikes. wear those? Because they're comfortable and cheap, dude. Yeah, so yeah. so no, are slippers, but you're a grown adult. You don't go out of the I don't got red there. band money, Jesus. Oh, you mean you can't go to like pay less and get a ten dollar pair of shoes? They yeah. don't, they, pay less doesn't exist anymore, dude. So tell me, uh you, so you've gotten banned from here for wearing a hat? Yeah, well I was coming in, they're like, No fucking hats and I'm like Tonight? No, no, no. Oh, it's years ago, man. Time. This place is Is that how mean infamous. they are as soon as you walk up with a hat? They start swearing at you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this, but uh, I have. Wow. Yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. They're, 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 they have a they have, they have a reputation as being a tough place. This place at the yeah. door. Well, they just don't want like they it's don't want hats want like hats? that. It's just a yeah. hat thing. Just a hat thing and no Timberlands What's or yeah. no yes. baggy pants. No. No one. Can black people. How, d- how I think dare that's what you? Saying. I mean, honestly, it's really what it is. All right. I'm going to have to leave right after this because they're, they're coming for me. I yeah, see them. Yeah. I see no them loud lining music. Up at the fucking door. I, I hate that shit. You know, this is a true story. I'll make it fast. But oh boy. There, was a, a, there was a bar uh, that I was trying to get into in L.A. And they were like, you have to have a collar shirt. I'm like, I, I don't have one. And I drove 45 minutes to, to go to this place for my friend's anniversary party. And so I, my girlfriend at the time goes, hey, I think I have a, I have a collared shirt. Listen, it's funny. My girlfriend goes, I think I have a collared shirt in my car. And she's a very small person. I'm like, let's try it. So I go to her car. She, I put on this tiny little collar shirt to the point where my fat stomach's hanging out in my arms. I go to the, I go to the place, and they're like, all right, well, come on in. I'm like, wow. Totally worth it. Uh, how about another hand for Ryan Sullivan, everybody? Thank you guys so much. But They wanted him to put on a collared shirt. He went and put on a collared shirt. Holy shit. 
That story brought to you by the writers of season six of Game of Thrones. All right. <laughs> Which I actually enjoyed. So. Well, say then. I know. Okay. I loved it. Let's go back to the bucket, shall we? What do you think? We've had a... Uh, Hats off to Ryan for that set. Is We've that had some real out? groundbreaking performances here tonight. Literally, this stage is fucking cracked down the middle so far. All right, pull another name out. Make some noise for Tommy Carillon. Tommy Carillon. Here he comes, a steady pace. Hey. One more time for Tommy, everybody. What's up, everybody? Let's, uh, let's address it up front. I look like I play air drums to rap music. That's where I'm at in life. Not great, but I deal with it. I, uh, I have a dog, and whenever I tell white people that, they just assume it's a pit bull. But whenever I tell black people, they assume it's a German shepherd. Uh, I don't know what the deal with that is. But no, I have a little shit too. That's what I have. Her name is Mimi, but I nicknamed her Beans because she was born with two clits, and that's just kind of cute, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I had to quit drinking a while ago, which isn't so bad. I just I don't like going to bars as a sober person. I wish bars had a back sober area where I could hang out with other sober people and we could watch our drunk friends like there were dogs at a park. <laughs> hey, which one's yours? She's adorable. That's my boy Max over there. He's a German-Irish mix. Uh, they say that I rescued him, but really I think he rescued me. H hang on one second. Max, what is that fireball? Put it down. Down. He never learns his lesson. He always pisses to bed. Thank you, guys. Fuck yeah, Tommy Carillon. Carillon. How are you? Doing good. Fuck yeah. Car Carillon. Am I saying that right? Carillon? I'm not really sure Carl how to Land? pronounce it myself. Is this Poltergeist? Carillon. Carillon. I think a hard car in the front. Hard car. car. Okay, very Carl good. Land. Well, it looks welcome, like you welcome, pronounce Tommy. everything with a hard R. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Wow. Yeah. So welcome, Tommy. Uh, how long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about five, six years now. Five, six years. Cool. How much longer do you have to live? <laughs> you asked me that in Nyack, too, actually. Really? Yeah, you, you got up in uh, Nyack? No, I was sitting in the crowd and you said I had leukemia. Uh, really? I yeah, did? Uh, you were in the audience and I roasted you? Yeah. Wow. Yep. That just but goes to show what you look like exactly. <laughs> That is so Apollo fun. Apollo did it here. Did you sign up in Nyack and not get pulled? Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool that you got up here tonight. That's awesome, yeah, Tommy. Nice. Fun. So five, six years of stand-up. Where do you live? Uh, Peekskill, New York. Peekskill. Just in Westchester. Oh, okay. A little bit right between here and the city, pretty much. Okay. I think there's a man running for city council of, uh, <laughs> of your city. I think I've seen the poster around town. Hell yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, plumbing construction. Ah, plumbing and construction. Interesting. We, we, yeah. I'm guessing more plumbing than construction, right? Well, no, it's plumbing construction. Like I oh, you build the toilets. Yeah. Oh, okay. Heck yeah, you build toilets. That's what plumbing a loose construction definition is. Of it, yeah. <laughs> I love it. You Some have a shih tzu with two vaginas. Is that real? Two clits, but no. Yes, Brian. Clits and vaginas are two <laughs> different things. Two clits. <laughs> All right. How the fuck <laughs> do you find that out? What is? How, how do you know that? How is that? It's just a joke I wrote one day after I started calling <laughs> her beans. You never took it to the vet and got it uh, proofread for your joke? No, no diagnosis <laughs> on it yet. I love it, man. So what do you do for fun up there in, uh, w near where you live? Hiking, kayaking, golfing, whatever. Kayak. Whatever white people stuff is around there. Spray your face with metallic paint on Fury Road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's enough. Dude, Joelberg's heating up over there. <laughs> I love it. My goodness, Tommy. Do do you get do you get confused for being a racist a lot? Do a lot of people tell you that you seem racist? Do black people avoid you? Uh, What's the deal? No, but old people generally like to tell me racist jokes. That's really? A, yeah, that's. Can you give any? Do you remember any very racist jokes that an old person's told you? It's no pressure yeah. on you because it's not your <laughs> joke. It's a joke that an ignorant old person told yeah. you. Can was, you uh, uh, can you do it on the show? Yeah, I was working at a Kmart a few years ago, and we didn't have the right size like vacuum steaming liquid for an old woman, uh -huh. and she just goes, "Well, this store caters to the Spanish people. <laughs> That's why I call it K Martinez." Oh, wow! All right, <laughs> That's my cousin's name, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 
man, how old was this lady? And did she sign up tonight? I'm excited to see more <laughs> of her work. K Martinez, that's so fun. You were really working at a Kmart? Yeah, for like uh, so three years or we're so. We're from Ohio and uh, Kansas, where Kmart's actually. He, he definitely was working at KK Kmart. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I love that. Heck yeah. So uh, how long, how long has it been since you played with the other members of REM? <laughs> <laughs> they used to play that at Kmart all the time. I I don't know REM. Yeah. Mm. I love it, man. Air drum into rap music, like I said. Man, and singing for the Smashing Pumpkins. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You worked at Kmart. Did they have Blue Man Group specials all the time? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kmart. Now and again. Because they had blue light specials. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. So, Tommy, what else is interesting about you? What kind of dirt bike do you drive? I never got a dirt bike. I was uh, I was more of an ATV guy, I guess. Yeah. You re- do you have an ATV? Asked a vagina? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, how do, how do, how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Causes Quick. infections, asked a vagina, I think. I love that, Tommy. You have a girlfriend? No, single. How long have you been single for? Uh, four years now. Four I think. years? My yeah. goodness. You ever go on dates or anything? Now and again. Not really. Yeah. Like your last date. How long ago was that? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no. Not one week. I love that. Uh, maybe like a month and a half ago. Month and a half. Yeah. Uh, so uh, where'd you meet her at? Tinder. Tinder. And yeah. uh, what was the conversation like? Where'd you guys do the, when you first met? We, uh, Did you invite her to, uh, to your shed? No, she actually invited me to a concert down at, uh, I forget where. Yeah, but what uh, was the concert? Do you remember? Sons of Bodom, I think it was. Oh, okay. And then what? That's it. What was it? Children of Bodom. It's a metal show. Oh, okay. And then what happened? Uh, Not too much. It it was a weird little date. Yeah. uh, She guys are watching the concert the whole time, not really talking much. Like, what? What do you do? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's not really really romantic. She got broken up with that day, and I kind of thought it would be an easy one off rebound. Wow. And you you couldn't close, or you did? No, she was uh, was a little weird about it. A little weird about it? Why? In what way? Because you forced it upon her? No, no. She uh, seemed pretty conservative. Right. Uh Yeah, for someone who was going to a metal show. Right. I don't know. It was a last-minute thing. I took a, a shower with baby wipes in a bar bathroom that day, so I wasn't. Wow. It was a surprise date, you guys. Uh, Ugh, two in the gutter, one in the udder. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So, wow, baby wipes after, after working with toilets all day. You just baby wiped it up in a bar yep. bathroom. Yep. Heck, yeah. It's my style. I, I, had to, I had to go down, do an open mic, and then meet her at Grand Central. That's awesome, man. I love it, dude. Well, you're doing fucking stand-up. You got real jokes. You were a great interview. Is there anything else we need to know about you before letting you out of here? I don't think so. But there you go. There he goes. Tommy oh. Carolan, everybody. <laughs> Fun times. You guys have some pretty fucking decent comedians up here in Poughkeepsie. That's how it, it's, it seems like the East Coast, like especially New York, always has some of the best comedy in the nation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta learn how to uh, you gotta learn how to talk to people indoors in a, in an area like this. You gotta get good at it. There's no way to be busy hiking mountains or doing beautiful right. things. You just gotta be funny and have a personality, right? You guys all have personalities, right? I feel like I made fun of you guys a little bit too early on in the show, and now you're getting defensive about it, but it's okay. I acknowledge it, and that makes it better. Grow hey, up. look at this guy's name. This <coughs> reminds me of something that we're going to be uh, slightly dealing with uh, tomorrow at 10 p.m. at the Grand Rose Theater. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Gilbert Hernandez, everybody. <laughs> Gilbert. Oh, he's right here. My goodness. How's it going, everybody? Good. A little bit about myself. I come from a Honduran immigrant family, so right now it's scary for us. Because Trump ain't fucking playing. He's depo- he deporting us like he's Ella generous on her, uh, her show, just giving out gifts. You getting deported. You getting deported. Everybody look under your seats. Y'all getting deported. It's, it's fucking scary. One of my cousins, he came over here when he was one years old. And, he's, and he, now he's 30. He don't even know Spanish. So he's terrified right now. So I try to take him to the bar to take his mind off it. So I take him to a bar called The Sanctuary, right? 
And so we sit down, I order a drink, and the bartender goes, what you got? You want ice with that? And he fucking ran. <laughs> I can't fucking run because this fucking stage is too fucking small. The only good thing that came out of this bullshit, though, that all of my, all of my aunts and uncles who had, their citizen, who had their green papers, they got their citizenship, guys. Give it up for them. They got their citizenship. Give it up. <laughs> Except my one aunt, though, she failed the test. I guess one of the questions on the test was, who was the first president of the United States of America? Who was the first president? She put George Washington Bridge. George Washington Bridge. Last question. Uh, they asked her how many states in the United States of America. She put I-84. <laughs> she a taxi driver, guys. She don't know too much about the fucking. Hell yeah, there you go. Gilbert Hernandez, everybody. <laughs> George Washington Bridge. Yo, I knew I was gonna get called. I knew it. I... You knew that you were gonna get called. Yeah, I just said it. I, was like, well, I think you're a better psychic than you are a comedian, oh. Gilbert. <laughs> This is very exciting that you knew that you were getting called. At least you found your calling here tonight as a, uh, a, a, the first ever young Mexican psychic boy. Honduran, Honduran. Hun yes, Honduran, we get it. You're Mexican. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> just take it. Yeah. Just take it. Just take it. Uh, uh, you did uh, a joke about Ellen at the top, but like Ellen never says look underneath your chairs. That's Oprah. Yeah. That's, hold on, everybody. We're about to get whacked right now. I don't know what the fuck's oh, happening. Someone said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How, man. Ah, sir, I, I, I feel didn't like know, I was in a pinball game. I didn't, know, I, I didn't know Poughkeepsie had so many bison here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is yeah. incredible, these fucking he people. Looked, he looked like the shampoo bottle, head and shoulders. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Gilbert. <laughs> All I right. get my joke in there. I, I love the jacket, God, though. One more joke like that, I'm going to get you deported. <laughs> I uh, love the jacket, though. I love the jacket. Thank you, thank you, thank look you. like gold dust. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. It's a gold dust jacket. I like your shirt. You look like AT&T. That's, that's where I came from. I just came back. I just literally came from work and got right here. You I work at AT&T? Yes, sir. Heck yeah. I love that. How long have you been doing? What do you do for them? Uh, I sell, uh, like, uh, cell phones, tablets. Oh, so right you work me. at one of the stores. Yeah, I'm a sales Oh, cool. Uh, I, I prefer Boost Mobile. <laughs> Boost Mobile. Uh, I love that. I prefer Verizon. <laughs> hey. That was a good one. That was, look that at was that. good one. Very good. How long you worked at AT&T? Uh, about five years. Wow, and uh, if you could uh, if you could give us a pitch on why AT and T is the uh, best provider, how would you pitch it to us? I'd be like, um, guys, switch over from eight, from Verizon AT and T because we can save you twenty five percent, and we're right up there with their service. But is that really true? Can you no, really it's not save really us? True, right. <laughs> I'm just trying to get. I got three kids to feed. I'm trying to get paid. I love it. I love it. We well, are about to get fired, so that's exciting. Uh, <laughs> oh, what the hell? Don't do that. He's no, got I'm three kidding. kids. Okay. Three kids. Sitting live streaming, right? Is it live streaming? No, we're not live. Oh, I'm supposed to go on my lunch break. <laughs> I like your style, Gilbert. You really have three kids? Yeah, three How kids. How old are they? Uh, eight, six, and two. Eight, six, and two. You we, still with the baby mama? Nah, man. Really? I got, I got, yeah, I got a new joint on the side right here. Say Wait, that again? Did, what what'd did you say? Did you just call her that new joint? Yes. That new Damn. joint, yes. That's going to make her feel good. Yeah, she be out here. Heck yeah! Look I at, am look, that new joint. And look at that. She's drinking a. Uh, she's drinking a delicious Corona, the drink of choice of all Hondurans. <laughs> <laughs> that is as close as I'm gonna get to Mexican on this tour. I don't know. We, we're Latino. We start young. Ah, we're getting warmer now. You're anyway, at least yeah. admitting to being Latino. Yes. I just came back from my cousin's uh, quinceanera slash baby shower. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I tried to sing that one in there. No, it's okay. I tried, so, and tried. So, eight, six, and two, and they're all with the mom? Uh, well, we were living together, but yeah, now they're with the mom. How long is, have you been broken up with her for? Just a couple months. Just a couple months. Is there something that happened in particular that ended the entire thing? Uh, no, nah, just toxic. Too many arguments. So I don't want the kids watching that. I love up, that. You know what I mean? You're absolutely fucking Sometimes right. Sometimes you gotta just walk away from something. Just. Bitches yep. be crazy. It's, oh. It, even it, in the bison world. Yes. Thank you. Bitches it's be better to uh, it's better to cut it off. No, yeah, it she, off. she used to beat when me. It, it's better to cut it off. A lot like an AT and T Wait. phone call. <laughs> she used to beat you. Yeah, she's a, yeah. This is like. Is that a, true? Really? Yeah, Can you she, give us some examples of some? She's a little stocky. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Was and she, she fight like she like 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 Mike Tyson? Like was she, she on stage tonight? Mike Bison. Nah, she held her. She was here. <laughs> I'll be. I, <laughs> Mike Bison. Like, Holy like that, shit. Like that, that. Joelberg's hitting him, people. I don't know what you guys are doing out there, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, like, 
the, the more you describe your ex, like the more like of a dude, like she becomes painful. Oh yeah. yeah. She, One time she threw a controller at me, hit me so hard, I seen stars, Showtime, Cinemax. This was yeah. crazy. Wow. I got you. Yes, got him. Hey, got the fucking bison. Dude, got the that bucket. joke was corn fed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I That's love it. Does. So can you give you us an example of a t- something you did one time that she really beat you up good all right, for? It. So I told her, I was like, yo, I'm going to go out with the boys. Uh-huh. She's like, all right, don't be, lo- don't be out too late. I was like, all right, I'll be back at one. I came back at seven in the morning. Oh. She said, shit. don't be late. So I was early. Oh, my God. I almost beat you up for making that joke just then. <laughs> wow. And what did she do to you? She just uh, literally she, throws punches and shit? Yeah, like, she got this one when she throws, like, an overhand, like Chuck Liddell. What uh, the But fuck? I finally, like, I, after three years, I calculated, so I just let it hit my chest. And then I just kind of, like, drop. Man. I think that's called un avion. <laughs> it's like, oh. The airplane comes right yeah. over here. Wow. Yeah. wow. My mom told me, you can't, you can't lay your hands on a woman, so I just kind of just, like, yo, chill, chill. Right, of course. Yeah. And, and your dad said sometimes the I, opposite. Sometimes I run. Yeah. No, yeah. That's what Mexicans do. They run. Um, yeah, hey, that's like that. Right. So, Gilbert, what do, you, uh, what do you do for fun when you're not hanging out with the kids and hanging out with the new I like, I like I like going to the club. I like dancing a little bit. Really? You, know I mean? you like awesome. dancing? Can you give us a little example yeah. of some of your dance me, moves? What do you want to see? <laughs> How many? There you go. Hey, look at that. He's got it. Hey. Wow, I don't know if you know this. They don't. They don't allow hats like your kind in a place like this. Nah, uh, I, well, I was a dishwasher here. Really? Uh, nah, fuck oh. Hey, after you break up with the new joint and you get another girlfriend, are you gonna call her the remix? Oh, <laughs> damn. I don't know. You got me on that one. You got me on that one. Wow. Joint, uh, well, Gilbert. Sorry, uh, new joint. Sorry. How long you been joint. doing stand up for? Uh, since since August. Since August, that is so cool. How often do you get to see your kids? Uh, I'll be with them every day. Every day? Oh, that's mm-hmm. awesome, man. Well, I fucking love that, dude. You fucking made babies, you know, and you, uh, you're you in work. their lives, you're working hard, and uh, you're also finding time to fucking chase your dreams while supporting for them and still getting to have some fun with the beautiful new joint over there. Hey. Yeah. And uh, that is so fucking awesome, man. You have a real cool, fiery, energetic personality. I would have loved to have seen you on like a bigger stage. I could tell you felt really confined up here. Yeah, I could I tell you're a physical guy. The bison, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. And uh, and uh, I think that's very exciting. So congratulations on being a good man and a Thank decent you, comedian. Yo. Thank you, everybody, Thanks. for having me tonight. Gilbert Hernandez. Yo, follow me on social media, Gil's Comedy. There you go. I, I got you, Gilbert. There you go. He's on Twitter at Gil's Comedy with a Z. Tommy Carolan is Tommy ah. 12 Tokes, T-O-K-E-S. Oh, my God. Look at this. Ah. He just stuck up his little fucking sausage link middle finger at us, too. <laughs> A fucking thick little middle finger. Look at you. You thought I wasn't going to roast that fucking kielbasa? Chicka Flashing puff. your middle finger at me, dude. You just got to roll with it. You know how to do that. Roll you up like a katamari. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cutie pie. We love you here. Come on. We have to acknowledge the elephant in the room sometimes. <laughs> It's comedy. It's comedy. Comedy is timing, and you, sir, are, you pick your moments perfectly. <laughs> right in between the segues. There goes your comedian. Whoa! Okay, this looks exciting. I love this name. Put your hands together for Joyce, everyone. It's Joyce. <laughs> Joyce, one name. Here she is, everybody. Jerry? Come on, one more time for Joyce, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Joyce. <sighs> so uh, before, I came on, uh, before I came up on the stage, when you heard the name Joyce, how many of you know I was an Asian already? Oh. How many of you thought I was going to be an old lady? <laughs> so I find it very interesting. Joyce's name is either for a young Asian lady or for an old lady. <sighs> so I was working in my office and I was Joyce Four. And Joyce One is a really, really old white lady. And after a couple years, I became Joyce Three because Joyce One died. <laughs> uh, 
So I, I feel like it's just a matter of time. After a couple years, Joyce is going to be a name only for old Asian ladies. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah. 51 seconds from Joyce. Interesting that you came in a little bit short on time because I thought you were going to be performing long time. I you are adorable. You are such a sweet little thing. Look Thank at you. you. I was really nervous. Of course. You're so likable and lovable. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> My you? goodness. Hell yeah. So uh, welcome. Um, for, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up for? First time. Whoa, oh, first God. time. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she brought the broccoli and I brought the beef. <laughs> wow. It's Joyce, like like the, the, the name you were given for real, though? No, I picked Lanette for no reason. Why well, would you pick Joyce? Because it was really popular in Asia, so I thought it was a cool name. Yeah. And once I got here, I realized it's, it's a really old name. So. <laughs> no, it's I wouldn't know, so yeah. So it's, it's, it's a fine name. It's a fine name. Uh, so first time doing stand-up. Yeah. Uh, how long have you lived in America? Uh, six years. Six years, and you're originally from Taiwan. Taiwan, oh very cool. You've only been here six years, uh, and you decided on Poughkeepsie. <laughs> I mean, the no, you we we live in the city, so we New York we'll City. To, yes. Oh, very cool. Yeah, we were a big fan. I love that. We listened to from the first episode to like the most recent episode like three times. I love that. Are wow. you coming to yeah. tomorrow's 10 p.m. show by any chance? We'll see. Depends on who's the guest. Tickets are still available. If you're wondering, tickets are still available. Yeah. Uh, we did not sell out since we began the show. Yeah, but it's cheap. It's cheaper today, so. I <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> you're on a little <laughs> bit of a budget. Reason, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. could put you on the guest list. How about that? Really? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, you have a grow. you I have, have a plus <laughs> one. You have a boyfriend or something like that. Red Red band yeah. loves Asian women. He also, he also signed up. Yeah. Wait, watch out. You're going to end up in his green room tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brian's <laughs> special guest list. Yeah. You're going to be really excited when you find out that the secret <laughs> guest is Ali Wong. Oh. No, no. I'm kidding. It's not. <laughs> I will Definitely be, I will won't be. be. Margaret Cho. <laughs> I said, I, I also said it's a special guest, so it's not Ali Wong. Um. <laughs> Come on, how many Always Be My Maybe fans are here tonight? Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a surprisingly good film. <laughs> Did you it's really so watch it? I watched it with my bison wife. Dude, yeah. it's so good. Did you, you really watch Keanu it? Keanu Reeves in that movie. It's the best cameo Some, like, One I've of the seen. best films ever, man. It's From funny. the rice one house of to the, the best bison. No, no, no. Films one, of the, one of the biggest surprises that, like, like, like what the fuck? This is great. Yeah. What a difference that is. One of the biggest surprises from one of the greatest All right, films calm down. ever. Yes, I'm so out of control. So I need to calm down. How did, how did you, like, you, when, you how, why did you come to New York from Taiwan? Right like, what, what made you go to New York? Like, your crate just crashed here? or I came here to study. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I got my master's degree in uh, in New York. Uh -huh. In but what, nail salon <laughs> stuff? <laughs> Is it? What? No. What? She, All right. No. What? What? You, she no. said she got a master's, and you said in nail salons? <laughs> what did you get a master's degree in? I got it in NYU. Heck yeah. And in what? NYU. And what, but I mean, what did you study? Oh, uh, marketing. Oh, marketing. Very From good. nail I, salons? <laughs> I love your enunciation of that. You would have thought at Marketing. some point while getting a master's in it, they would have been like, ah, I guess you can soften up on that T a little bit. <laughs> Marketing. <laughs> Ting, tang, tong. Marketing jokes. Uh, so uh, that's awesome. You love living in the big city? What's up? You love living in the big city yeah, of New yeah, York? Yeah, yeah, You're right in the mix of everything? Yeah, I love it. What part of town are you in? Uh, East Harlem. East Harlem. Yep. Heck yeah, that is so fucking cool. Uh, it's very different than Taiwan, right? Yeah, very is it, different. Is there anything that you miss about Taiwan? A food. I miss food. food there. Yeah. A lot. What's your favorite thing to eat in Taiwan? Uh, I do like stinky tofu. Which stinky? Is like, yeah. Stinky. <laughs> Brian stinky. just came right now. <laughs> 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 oh, what? <laughs> that, that, that's actually a safe word during sex. <laughs> Sticky Tova, Sticky Tova! 
I love ah! it. What are you doing with that microphone? Where the hell are you going, Joyce? His, his, his other safe word during sex is Wendy's Postmates. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, so Joyce, uh, where do you find your boyfriend at? Uh, in New York City. Where yeah. are we? I went to see a show, and he was sitting right next to me. What kind of show? Uh, it's a pole dancing show. Whoa! <laughs> look at you. Uh, just a regular like burlesque. Yeah, kind of. It's like an animal theme. Really? So, uh, Is it bison themed? <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Wow, and he was just sitting right next to you. Yeah, and they have some raffles, so they give you like a free class to take a free pole dancing class, and none of us got anything, so we start chatting. Your lucky numbers weren't pulled? (laughs) No, no. You you didn't get the fortune that night? Uh, uh, Well, all right. Uh, So how long have you been with this guy? Uh, Four years. Four years, what does he do? Uh, He's a juggler. Get the fuck out of (laughs) here. Are you serious? Is he Wait. here tonight? Yeah, he also signed up. Really? Uh-huh. So I he's mean, into the insane clown posse? What? Something like that. <laughs> no, yeah. he's not a juggalo, Joel. He's <laughs> a. Uh, he's a. <laughs> we don't a, have internet on the farm I live on. He's a juggler. Yeah, wow. he's a juggler. Has he ever done stand up before? Uh, I don't think so. Really? What's his name? Uh, it's Justin Wood Circus. Justin Wood Circus. Yeah. That three names: Justin Wood Circus. Yes. His last name is Circus? Yeah, I mean. I love it. How many of you would like to see this guy do stand-up for the first time? <laughs> All right, put it back in the holster there. There goes Joyce, everybody. Hey, Joyce, high five. You were great. Let us know if you want to be on that guest list tomorrow. Isn't she adorable? Joyce, everybody. One more time for Joyce. And with no more hesitation, I'm going to give us what we all want right now. We're for his very first time ever on, uh, on Kill Tony. Uh, put your hands together for Justin Wood Circus, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this badass motherfucker. Hell yeah. Hello. Come on, one more time for Justin, guys. Hey, hey. How's it going? Oh, man. You did great, Joyce. Did good. Now it's my job. <laughs> Number one juggler in New York. Yeah, yeah. You, you'd think it'd mean more. Um, no, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, you spend your whole life uh, training in the circus arts and whatnot. You learn to uh, keep seven objects in the air at one time or balance uh, six chairs on your face. And you, you, you make a song on TikTok and, and then you get uh, millions and millions of uh, views and, and lots of attention. I've never gotten uh, my juggling to get any more views than that, but, uh, you know, it, it's funny. Do you know how to, how to draw a pig? It doesn't matter. You're not even my target demographic anymore. No, no, seriously. Uh, no, really. 13-year-olds on TikTok. That's where it's at. Okay. There you go, Justin Wood Circus. Keep the microphone. Keep the microphone. True, true. Justin Wood Circus. Right. So let's talk about it here. Hey. That was your first time doing stand-up comedy, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love the part where at one point uh, during that set towards the end there, you said it's funny, and it wasn't. Uh, what is TikTok? Uh, TikTok. It's like... Um Go ahead. What's TikTok? Oh, well, it's uh, like uh, Vine, but for uh, kids. Oh, okay. So it's like short videos. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, cool. And you had a, you had a very successful video on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you yeah. juggling? No, I was uh, singing uh, how, to, how to Draw a Pig. I, I, made, I made a How to Draw a Pig song. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. How long is the song? Uh, about 15 seconds. Okay. You want to sing it for us? <clears throat> yeah. Awesome. One circle, one circle, one big circle. One circle, one circle, one big circle. One circle, one circle, one big circle. W, 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 nipple, 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 E. Wow. All right. I, I could see, uh... I could see why that would be successful in this baby shark era that we live in right now. Right? Uh, very yeah. cool. 
Um, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about what we can have you do here tonight in front of us. Is there anything that you can do or juggle? Because like I think you know this fucking crowd. When we found out that you're the New York's greatest juggler, I think we all got a little excited. Is there something that we can give you to juggle, or do you have something already? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got a couple different things. I mean, I got this slinky. I mean, you could do whatever I also you have want. Some juggling balls, if you want. Where are those at? You, you pointed over ball there. Tricks. Oh, they're in my pants. Um, where are those at? Over here. Where are the where are the juggling balls at? Uh, Joyce, Joyce has them. Joyce, can my you my lovely bring? assistant? Yeah, the lovely assistant Joyce. These things just picked up big time here. I know a lot of you are here. I know there's probably a few fucking hipsters in this room like, dude, I came for stand-up comedy, dude. But, but you know what? I see that shit all the time. I never get to see New York's best juggler drive all the way to Poughkeepsie. Uh, by, the, by the way, Tony, uh, it sounded like Joyce wrote his first joke. He said, I am number one juggler in New York City. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so True. if you want to put the mic in the mic stand, Brian's probably going to hit some music here. Is that the song you're going to play for this? <laughs> oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Wood Circus, everybody. Wow. He threw one thing up there. All right. He's starting slow. I like it. He's building anticipation. There he is. Justin Wood Circus. Circus. Oh, he's dropping one ball at a time. Hell yeah. All right. He's got two in one hand. Whoa! Wow. Look at that. Woo! Damn. That's, that was fucking incredible. Literally all those balls almost hit the ceiling. You're 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 extremely professional at this. So you went to yeah, like thank you. did you go to like circus school or something? Uh it, well I I'm I'm from Kentucky and uh I I didn't have a lot of uh, uh things to do or options to get out of Kentucky. Uh-huh. <laughs> what uh what are you? What what nationality are you? Um, or race, I'm, I'm whatever. Amer American. I'm white. Uh, white. I really? think. Really? I, I don't know. People keep saying that I look a little bit Asian uh, myself. I guess I get. Well, you that reflect the company you keep. You know. Sorry. Yeah. She yeah, just, no, she just got a low juice on true. you. Yeah. No. I. Uh, that's that's true. There might be an Asian milkman or something. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, going on. You're right? olive. I have. Yeah. Sure, why not? I right, love it. On. So let's talk about how you got so good at juggling. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I went to uh, a street perform in New York. And uh, if you put your hat down and you juggle, uh, yeah, you can get maybe about like $10 an hour. And I was like, that's much better than minimum wage. Hell yeah. And I realized that instead of uh, spending my time like, you know, at CVS, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Little Caesars Pizza and yeah. stuff like that. I could actually just juggle for like, you know, six to eight hours a day and yeah. get really darn good at it. Cause, I love it, man. You know, and you, you spend enough time. Yeah. What's the slinky for? What do you do with the slinky? You have any slinky tricks? Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. Can I see a slinky trick? Oh, most definitely. All yeah. right, let's see a slinky trick. I might just have... <laughs> Here we go. That music is good and loud. Oh, wow. The slinky is going crazy. For those of you just listening to the podcast, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Fuck yeah. My God. That is so cool. I love that. Uh, just an abundance of free time and a wasted childhood. I love it. That's let's, all it takes. Let's check in with uh, Phil. Little known fact, Red Band can do the exact same thing with his sperm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My goodness. I love that. Uh, uh, that is just so cool to me, man, that uh, you found a way to do something that you love and to get paid for it and you get to live in a beautiful city with it with what seems to be an awesome awesome lady she's wonderful she's the best i love it man yeah she yeah. carries around your juggling balls in her purse <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know you know what's very interesting about you is that my girlfriend is also asian and she also has an old lady name like her name's janice and she hates it like and it's the same thing anyways i saw an instagram that you sent earlier 
Uh, and you're very amazing, man. I, I was so happy to meet you that you came on stage because I, I saw what you did earlier with the no smoking sign. Oh, and that's fucking awesome, man. I that's always really wanted. Yeah, thank. Was that what, a pie? What, did, what did you do for the everyone else? Oh well, I have been making stupid videos on the internet because apparently people care more about that than like juggling. I mean, I just want to like entertain people, and you know, I really just started juggling just because. He, I don't he, know, I wanted to, to He do took it, two but. pieces of little tape. There's a no smoking sign. And you can see it on your Instagram. Why don't you give it a shout out to it? Yeah, yeah, Justin Wood Circus. There's a lot of Justin Woods he out just, there. He just took uh, two pieces of little tape up to a no, most, uh, no smoking sign and made it no pie. Like it made it, he, he turned it into a piece of pie. It was so weird. It, like, it's, yeah. like you have to see it to understand it. Yeah, it was cool. Really I cool. saw that. Uh, yeah. It got taken down for uh, uh, vandalism. On TikTok, because little kids are like little police like that. They were like, that's vandalism. <laughs> Nerds. Yeah. So then I made another one where I dressed up like a king and then made it more of like a story. And that one's like, you know, going a lot further. That is so interesting cool. that yeah. you found this, uh, that, you're, that you're using the internet to use uh, a lot of this uh, circus and interesting stuff. And you're entertaining kids and fucking adults. Yeah, I feel like juggling in the circus arts has a, has a pretty bad name other than like, yeah, I don't know, Cirque du Soleil is taking it like this, so it's either like really like, oh, I'm blowing your mind, aren't I? And I'm, I don't know, like, I don't like that. But then traditional, like, is just too corny and stiff, so I'm do, just trying to... Do you have dreams of ever doing that? Would you ever want to do Cirque du Soleil, like go full on... I um well I mean I've worked for circuses before but um I, like I have my own one hour show that I'm trying to get off the get off the ground now because uh, it, it just doesn't pay to just live like in a like little booth like yeah. with like other people and then you get yeah. paid nothing to do like five minutes like seven times a day ten to do it dude keep doing but, it keep getting good at it keep yeah. using that goddamn internet to get the word out there. Congratulations. How about one more time, good and loud, for Justin Wood Circus? How fun. We never get to have fun like that. You people are like, I can tell you people think he's a shady circus guy, but I like that guy. I love it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. You guys got on the guest list. You too, all right? Wow, there you go. There you go. Look at that. How about one more time for Joyce and Justin Wood Circus? All right, pull another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Sally Torregiani. Sally Torregiani. This could be the female Sebastian Maniscalco. Who knows what can happen here? We just met a juggler. Baby shark. One more time for Sally, everybody. Oh my God. I'm so scared, I have anxiety. I just got back from LA. Yeah, I wouldn't clap either. Ugh. Terrible place, fakest place ever. Like, hello in Los Angeles means like, fuck you. And it's confusing because like, fuck you in New York means hello. I don't get it. Everyone wants to be an influencer. It's like a thing, new actress, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you don't know what influencers are, they are the telemarketers are of our generation. So they're just selling you shit you don't need. And they're all hot and not predominantly Indian. Okay, full of white people. <laughs> we can loosen our buttholes, it's fine. Um, yeah, I was triggered by this one video. She was selling a serum that was basically CBD and it changed her life. She's a 19 year old girl. She's like, oh my God, it saved my fine lines and helped out my libido. I'm like, bitch, you're 19. That's what helps your libido. That's it, thanks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Baby shark, duck, 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 baby shark. One more time for Sally, everybody. Hell yeah. Hi. Rolling right in with the fuck LA joke. That's interesting. I, yeah. that's I a, thought that, it would be bold. That's an interesting take. Oh, there's another guy clapping because he'll never be able to get out there either. That's exciting. <laughs> Uh, so w what do you really, what, did, what were you doing in L.A.? Uh, it was my birthday. And so you went there for your birthday? Mm-hmm. Well, have you ever been there before? Yeah. And you, you hate it so no. much that you went back for your birthday? <laughs> this um, place sucks. Let's celebrate my birthday there. <laughs> I again. enjoyed it. It's just, it's kind of shitty. It, it kind of looks like Main Street, except like Beverly Hills is fine. Oh. Malibu's fine. 
But it's pretty dirty. Wait, you got Joel, little Matt. He's a Mexican born and raised in Los Angeles. I'm okay. I'm born and raised in LA. None of the shit people hate about LA has anything to do with my immediate circle. It's all people that move there that aren't from there and they fuck it up. And it's a cool fucking spot. And I wish people would stop shitting on it. Wow, this guy will do anything to remind you he's not a real Mexican. Uh, LA, dude. I live in Boise, Idaho, and I love it. (laughs) Wow. So Sally, uh, couldn't you wouldn't you agree that it's uh, that it's all in who you hang out with? Were you hanging out with influencers out there? Or idiots? <laughs> um, no. Well, my friends like thought they were gonna like make it out there. Right. Like, that was like their upstate mentality. They were like, I'm gonna be seen. I'm like, right. First seen? problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then what happened? Um, they weren't seen. Uh huh. <laughs> I did a show out there. I did you did? Stand-up out there. You did yeah. stand-up? How long have you been doing stand-up for? Like four months. Oh, that's so cool. Where'd you perform at? Um, I performed at like Guacho's, some Brazilian steakhouse in Glendale. Oh, cool. And they said they liked me and I can go to the comedy store. I know, wh- it's shit, but is whatever. Is that where you stayed around, Glendale? Um, no, I... <laughs> I stayed in shit. I stayed in downtown. You stayed in downtown like, I was right, Los like, Angeles. Right by Skid Row. I was like, wow. oh, I'm why? Why did you stay there of all places? We. I don't. For those we, of you that don't know, downtown isn't really a downtown. It is the farthest east so point bad. of Los Angeles. Far so as scary. far from the ocean and as far from uh, where yeah. I've lived there for 13 years. Been there three times. Like you don't want to go there. If you watch The yeah. Walking Dead, that's what it looks like. No, it's yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't like for real. It. Yeah. Um, People that live in L.A. really never go downtown. No. I've I'm never spent a single night of my life downtown. Terrible. You've lived, I've lived in L.A. for over, well over a decade, and you've spent more time downtown than Where me. Where do you live in L.A.? Uh, well, if you'd like my exact address. <laughs> um, no, I live, the, uh, I live in the Hollywood, uh, Beverly Hills, uh, <laughs> Wilshire, okay. mid-Wilshire area. All right. Cool. Uh, where did, where did you say you were from originally? I'm from uh, Hyde Park, so. Like, wow. Oh, your voice sounds like you grew up at the Newport factory. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, I'm, I from, love that. I'm from Hyde Park. And Ellie sucks. Ellie sucks. You have that real like you have that real like Italian mother voice. You know that? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Hell yeah. Uh, so. Now, how far is Hyde Park from here? It's like 20 minutes north. 20 minutes north. What do you do for work? I own a fitness studio. Really? Yeah. Wow. How long have you been doing yeah. that for? <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like, by the way, out of, yeah. all, out of all the people, out of all the women that have ever done this show, nobody reminds me more of an annoying type of influencer than you. <laughs> like, Thanks. you're the Absolutely. type of have a fitness studio. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, what was the joke that you tried to make about Indians at one point? I'm excited to like, hear. <laughs> um, how influencers are the telemarketers of our generation, but they're all hot and not predominantly Indian. Oh, yep. I mean, <laughs> statistically, that is correct. It's as funny <laughs> now as I thought it was the first time, but... Now at least I understand sort of uh, what you were talking about. Thanks. So what? <laughs> I, I would. I would. You're l- I, I would love if she like was a teacher at MIT and taught like molecular biology like with that <laughs> voice. Hi, class. <laughs> Welcome to molecular biology. <laughs> I teach fitness. I'm teach you a lot of things. Today we're going to be Must splicing be. atoms. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> I've had my atoms split so many times. <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. And my butt cheeks. Yeah. Oh, Have you it. seen that new Transformer proton? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so, so much hot. So Sally, uh, what scares you? What are you afraid of? Um, yeah, what's your deepest fear? Yeah. yeah, this is like the most intense question of the. That's night. the most intense question. I, I don't know. I feel like if I asked you what thirty-three times seven was, uh, that probably. Oh, be the most intense uh, question. it's uh. <laughs> what's um, that in cigarettes? <laughs> I've never smoked a cigarette. <laughs> Wh- who are you hanging out with then? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking smokestack? Not one. <laughs> you know. Fucking break factory. <laughs> I've never smoked a cigarette in my life, but I took a vacation in Chernobyl once. 
But I love car tailpipes. <laughs> I hate it there, but I only go there for my birthdays. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Sally, what do you, do you like? a hot box in a cigar shop? It's <laughs> wild. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun, Sally? Um, I do gymnastics. Really? Yeah. My goodness. Is there any type of a uh, gymnastic that you could do that you could show us here on this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I could I could walk on my hands. Really? Would you Would you be willing to walk on your hands across yeah. this floor? How many of you want to see this young lady walk on her hands? <laughs> this is so cool. We've never had anybody walk on their hands in the history of the show. Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. This is going to be great for the camera in the back. You're about to see a pair of feet flo float above uh, float above the people's heads. Come on, make some noise for Sally. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. My goodness. Incredible job. And I'd like to congratulate you. Your shirt went down just enough for Red Band to invite you on tomorrow night's guest list. <laughs> I think her udders fell out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. You've been doing gymnastics since you were a kid? Could I try to yeah. walk on my oh, hooves? I love that. Jeremiah wants to walk on his hooves. Can do you your do thing. Can you do that, Jeremiah? I don't know. We'll see. Really? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, you guys all be careful. Make sure he doesn't knock over your drinks, okay? Yeah, be careful. I'm serious. Oh Sir, keep an eye on this. <laughs> what? This is the this is a fucking freak show here in Poughkeepsie. This is a goddamn freak show. For those of you listening, he was not able to walk on his hands. Joel carried Dude, I'm him. I'm a freaking for bison. That was great. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. And hey, venue, your your floor is filthy. <laughs> it was goodness. clean before she did it. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. Sally, do you uh, do you sleep with a lot of men? No. <laughs> no. You have a boyfriend. I do. How long you been with him? Like a week. Really? Wow. Yeah. What Italian restaurant <laughs> is he a bartender at? <laughs> <laughs> he um, works for Newport. He's not. <laughs> he's not a bartender. What does he do? He's like director of like vet of veteran affairs. Oh, yeah, look yeah. at that! Damn. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I I'm, I'm director of bison affairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you met him a week ago. My goodness. No, I didn't meet him a week ago. Oh, you just. But started we just started like dating. You right. Know? You guys are like, should we, should we make this official, or yeah. should like I want to know what you want me to do? That's like you try. You did the old girl trap. Mm -mm. No, he did it? Yeah. Whoa, yeah, yeah look at that yeah, ins insecure bitch. That'll come back in a few months. <laughs> oh, is that going to come back? The first night your phone dies, you're in big trouble, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, very, very fun, very awesome. I'm excited for you to, uh, you've only been doing it four months, so if this is something you love, you know, keep working at it. It's like walking on your goddamn hands. If you keep doing it, you're going to get good at it. Yeah, so man. There she goes, Sally Torregiani. Torregiani. You. You're welcome. Baby shark. Baby shark. Baby shark. Hey. Yeah. Back to the bucket, huh? How many of you guys like it when comedians do good on this show? That's good, that's good, that's good. How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Whoa, look at that, very interesting. All right, this has been a wild show so far. This yeah. is the first time we've had people walk on their hands, juggle, slinky. This is very exciting. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Scott Roherson. Scott Roherson. Scott. No one? See anything happening here. Do we uh -oh. have our first blacklist? Wow, look at that. Wow. There you go. Blacklisted. There you go. All right. On to the next one. Wait, no, there he is. Oh, here he comes. Scott Rowe Harrison, everybody. Hey. 
Hey. Go ahead. I'm not Scott Roharson. Scott. <laughs> okay. We got. Now that you said Shut that, we gotta get rid up, of you. We, Timmy, Boo. Timmy. Timmy. We gotta. I gotta. We have to pull another name out. Cause like, if you do that, if you do that, then people do that all the time. Yeah. But I will say this. I will say this is that I started stand up with this man at the comedy store 12 years ago, and he moved to New York, and I absolutely love him, and. He, uh, he's Tony drives a vet, and I live in Poughkeepsie, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you after the show. I'm sorry. I just can't let you up, or else people oh, do that. in there. I know, and if you get pulled out, you'll come up. There he goes. Tim Knapp, everybody. Blacklisted. No, it's not blacklisted. Poor, uh. poor thing. He don't tried. ever do that, by the way. He tried. Yes, uh. don't ever do that. This, that's proof that even if I've known you for 12 years, I'll still kick you off the fucking stage yeah. if you do that. But I'll see you after the show, Tim. I love you, buddy. He's got weed for me. Put your hands together for your, put your hands together for your next comedian, Stephen O'Brien, everybody. Stephen O'Brien. Wow, look at this. Holy shit. It's right here. Brian. You can't come over and play on 64. I'm not sorry. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just as confused as you. He decided to steal my favorite Mickey Mouse cup. I forgot everything I was going to say. So I'm kind of just shitting out my brain. Uh, fully prepared to um, totally fuck everything up. Just like most of the things in my life. I kind of feel like there's a fan inside my head right now. It's just kind of going around. Everything's getting blended up. It's all becoming one giant mass of velvet kangle hats. Steven, fuck yeah. Hello. So Steven, it's okay. First time doing stand-up, right? Yes. First time. You blanked out. Happens to a lot of people. Happens Happened to, to me. My Happened first to Tony. time. Yep, it happened to me. Uh, but uh, I still got laughs my first time. Um, I'm not funny. No, it's okay. Do you remember anything that you prepared now? Now that you're, now that the pressure is lessened a little bit. Now that you're just talking to someone else. You remember uh, where? You remember where you wrote your jokes at? Where were you? Uh, you at a picnic table? Were you at home? Were you at a coffee shop? Where did you write the jokes that you wrote for tonight? In my bedroom. In your bedroom. Were you laying yeah. in bed? Was it about masturbating? Was it no, about poop? No, it was not. Was it, it was about no. my. It was no, about what my is it? Your dying. set list? Yeah, no, it wasn't trying to about help masturbating and poop. No, I don't masturbate very often, so I don't really have Ugh. any material about it. Why? Um, I'm actually celibate, and why yeah. is that? Why are you celibate? Um, I just don't really like sex. Really? Is it just because no one wants to fuck you? No, I, no, I have a girlfriend. You do? Yeah. And you guys don't fuck? No, we do. I just don't like it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, this is what your joke should have been about that you wrote. I wish yeah, I was no. fucking right now, have dude. You, have you always not liked it? No, I've liked it before. So why don't you like it now? Because once um, you go bison. <laughs> all right. Why don't you like it now? I don't know. I just kind of shifted and... Now I'm not really into it. Are you sure that you're just not into her? Yeah. Uh, I'm. I don't know. I mean, I'm. I don't. Does I your girlfriend have a huge dick? <laughs> no. How um, long have you been with her for? I've been with her for like six months. She's actually in uh, a treatment facility in Florida right now, so I haven't seen her for in what like, drugs? Yeah, I haven't seen her in like four months. What so. kind of drugs? Um, she's a heroin addict. Uh-huh. And she was a heroin addict when you met her. Yeah. Well, there you go. That makes sense. Yeah. That means she likes to get stuck by things, dude. Yeah. Give her that needle, dude. Heck yeah. It's, it's, weird, it's weird that she's the heroin addict and you're the one that just likes to spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bison, for the bows. Uh, 
My yeah, goodness. Yeah, I'm kind of having a panic attack right now. <laughs> it's okay. You're okay, dude. You're okay. I fucking... I, you got to weather this storm. You're up here. Half half the people on this stage have panic attacks regularly. I'm yeah. not going to tell you which half. Is she getting... Oh, I, I it, know. Is uh, she getting better? I mean, she, like Florida yeah, no, seems like the worst place to get out off a of drug. I, I'm well aware. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a good program that they have. They get you off heroin and onto crystal meth. Yeah. It's she's, very exciting. Uh, she's not coming back. Oh, how, how do you know that? She told me. She said she's going to live in Florida? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean, th- you know, who knows what's really the, what the situation really is. She's go- obviously going Oh, to I know. It. How do you know? Because she's told me several times. So then times. why are you saying, if she's never coming back here, why are you saying that you, you've been, she's been gone for four months, yet you've been dating for six months? I mean, because I still talk to her every day. Every day? Well, yeah. the good news is, is you get to keep wearing her blouse while she's gone. <laughs> uh, Steven, so... Uh, <laughs> that is a, that is one big. Yes, I don't I don't have very well. I used to be very fat, so most of my clothes are really big. How do you lose the weight? Um, Heroin, doing drugs. C? Yeah, you do drugs too? Not anymore. I've been sober for five years. Sober for five years. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Dude. What drugs were you doing? Um, I did a lot of. Uh, research chemicals and MDMA and drank a shitload. Right, right. Research chemicals? Wait a second. <laughs> like random shit sent to me by Chinese guys that didn't necessarily know what they were making. Uh, what's, the, wh- what's the best or nice. worst thing that ever happened to you while on those drugs? Um, I did this drug one time uh-huh. and I felt like, okay, so... I guess my cat like crawled inside of my chest and then I went into the bathtub and I ended up throwing up in the bathtub like 15 times. Fuck yeah. So I'm just like sitting in a t- in a tub full of hot yeah. well not even hot anymore. It was just room temperature water, uh, vomit and piss and uh, I was there for like 2 hours and I thought I was going to die. It felt like I was flipping inside out like oh, over yeah. and over and what over again. What was the bad part of that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds fucking awesome. That sounds amazing. Hell yeah. Dude, dude. that drug's called one time. I got to try that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So you talk to this girl every day. Do you love her? Uh, I don't know. Do you ever tell her that you not. love her? You guys tell each other that you love each other at the end of the, your conversations? Well, yeah, it's just the. I think that she's a lot different than me. Yeah. Yeah, it might Wait, be the meth. Wait, how how like, do you how do you get like, Chinese research drugs? You oh. just kind of oh, skipped Brian, over that they part. They gave yeah, it to I us for over. free so that we would test it. From how Yeah, did how did Joyce give you those drugs? What? <laughs> how did Joyce, the Asian woman that was up here earlier, how did she Joyce. get you those drugs? No, but, did you uh, sign from up the, online from the, from the internet? Um yeah, I I did it was like um, it was like a job kind of, but I got paid in drugs. Oh, like Yoshi. So they would send us stuff, and I would write like a report. There you go. On what it did to me, and wow. I would send it back. Let's to get them. back to this chick now that we've covered this. Uh, you you were t- conducting research studies on yourself. Is yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. They, yeah. they give you the drug. They tell drugs. you to write a report drugs, afterwards. Yes. Wow. That's why I don't do drugs anymore. Okay, stick with me over here, Steven, 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 over here. So you tell this girl that you love her every time you talk once a day, right? No. No. But, no. But you have told each other that you love each other b- before. Yes. But now you don't know whether you love her. Uh, yeah. I, I, I've been just qu- questioning it a lot recently. Just um, certain things that she does and the way that I feel Math. recently. Like, I've been doing a lot of different things in my life like recently. Like what? Math. Stop. Uh, <laughs> Let him answer these fucking questions. I've, uh, I've actually recently um, joined a church with Mormons. Ah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> finally. Ah. <laughs> Mormons. My God. What kind of weird ass Mormon joins the church and then stops fucking? Um, that's not the reason I, I didn't re- I haven't really stopped doing anything that I did before besides like cigarettes and alcohol but I wanted to stop those anyway uh-huh. like I still smoke weed every day right and you know I still live my life the same way I did yeah I just think it's nice to have like a group of people that care about your well-being 
and they and these people do. Yeah, I've been surrounded by people who don't really care for a long time. So. Yeah, you close with your parents? My mom. Yeah, my dad left when I was a kid. Yeah, where do you uh, go? Um, he's, Florida. He's in California somewhere. Oh. Okay. I don't know. All right. Well, anything else we should know about you, Stephen? That's very interesting stuff. I mean, the Mormon Church. How did you even get into that? How did you just stumble across it? They knock on your door. Um, I stopped and started talking to some missionaries and just kind of wait. Thought it you was cool. you optionally? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a I'm a very open-minded person. I don't really no no like, no. Me too, but that's a lot even. <laughs> I mean, like I just, you have to be like in a lonely place to be like, wait, you. <laughs> I am lonely, and I don't like. I'm not gonna like. I don't really have anything going for me. Like, where do you don't live? Don't say that. Where do you live, Stephen? Me and my hey, friend. You wanna, me and my friend drove here from Burlington, Vermont. From where, Vermont? Burlington. Burlington, and uh, is that a is that a that's a pretty big city, right? Yeah. It's well, like what the, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I mean, I write music, I uh-huh. sing. So you got that going for you? You got music going for you? You got yeah. singing? No, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not like sad about my life. I'm... Well, I then quit like, using that tone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really nervous right you, now. Can, like, we know, we're all really nervous, dude. We're, we're, we're all, we all have to do a show and we're all, we're all the pressure's on all of us. This is your very first time. We have to, we have to supposedly get funnier every single episode. So who's really under pressure right now, you fucking pussy? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not so can you give us a, can you give us a little example of some singing that you do? I'm really excited to hear because you seem really soft spoken. You seem shy. I'm we would love to hear you just belt out one line or verse of something. We just want to get a taste of, uh, right. of, uh, of what you sound like. So here he is, singing a part of a song, whether he wants to or not. Stephen O'Brien. There's violin? No, it's not. Could I come into your mouth? Could I come into your mouth and say I didn't mean to? But I'm not sorry, because that's just seed. Wow. Very cool. Look at that. Could I gouge out all your eyes? Could I gouge that. out all your eyes and say it's okay? Because I can see you. Oh, that's just beat. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I write, like, some serious songs and some, like, comedy songs. Dude, you're meant to be a singer. You're, you're, you're secretly autistic, and you write I'm good music. I'm not secretly autistic. I'm, I'm very much autistic. You've been diagnosed? Yes, oh, I have there Asperger's. You go. Very good. We had a guy that was secretly autistic a few episodes ago. Dude. You have, you, have a, you have an amazing skill set, and let me tell you something, Steven. you got to start owning that, dude. You have to get out there, and you have to, you have to do exactly what uh, Justin Wood Circus did. You have to find a format on the internet. You have to fucking put music out there. Hey, look at me, you fuck. You have to put music out there. You have to get on the internet. You have to find what outlet or website works for you. He found something I never even heard of called TikTok. He has millions of fucking kids watching his videos. Find a way to get your stuff out there. You'll end up making more friends that are like you, that have more in common with you, and then things are going to be okay. 4chan. <laughs> yes. Uh, can I just say that your confidence level changed a thousand percent whenever yeah. you said, can I come into your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, it was incredible. So can we get to know that guy? Yeah. I've never, like really tried writing jokes or anything like this show is literally my favorite thing in comedy at yeah, all yeah like all of you guys are like just my favorite comedians all put together yeah and it's just uh so amazing well to uh, you'll be excited to know that you've been the longest interview of the night and the reason why is because uh we i knew that there was fucking something <laughs> there and we cracked it here at the end and the advice that I'm giving you, much more than I tell a lot of people, well, keep going up, fucking, you know, this and that. I mean, that's fucking, you know, sort of bland advice in my opinion. But I'm serious. I really, really, really want you to fucking put stuff out there, start acting like a goddamn songwriter and a singer, and own that. You're I clearly not you're clearly not a fucking comedian. You said you have hours of music? Yeah. Fucking incredible, dude. And that it seems to be funny. The first thing you fucking went into was fucking raw. You did not hold back at all. The total opposite guy that came up here and forgot everything that he wanted to talk about. There's definitely something with music where yeah. it just flows out of you. And you, if you have hours and hours of music, you have 
to get that shit out there. Oh, it's yeah. exactly no. what you need to do. Yep, absolutely. All right? So it's us. You just told us we're your four favorite comedians, that this is your favorite show, and we are, set, we are purposely not just giving you advice. We are giving you a mission to fucking do that. All right? Yeah, my goal was to come up here and bomb so that I could really just hear and get the confidence to move forward with well you did it wanting to you do, this do it you went above right. and beyond your goals my friend you bombed your goddamn ass off yeah. break up with that girl though Stephen O'Brien yeah. yeah get rid of that girl uh wait 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 uh let's check in with uh with uh Phil and to give you more initiative if you tweet at us one of your songs we yep. will retweet Absolutely. it or yeah, I'll feature it on Jeremiah Wonders or something hey, oh, yeah look at that I love that I fucking love that there he is, Stephen O'Brien, everybody. He's on Twitter at Kid Kratz. K Y D K R A S S. Jeez Louise. Nope. Nope, that's not how it Fuck works. out of here. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Okay. Okay. I'd like to I'd like to give people that try to interrupt the show less attention, but uh, <laughs> you guys think we should go to the bucket one more time, huh? We're running way out of time. I spent way too much time with my new fucking favorite singer, Stephen O'Brien. By the way, he's on Twitter at Kid Crass. K Y D K R A S S. Fucking do it, dude. You have people that want to help you. Shut up. Put your hands together for your next comedian and your final comedian of the night. He goes by the name of Sean Donovan, everybody. Sean Donovan. Here we go. Hey. What's up, guys? Keep it going for Kill Tony. Damn, all the way to Poughkeepsie. Yeah. You know, uh, I just uh, went to court today, and uh, I went for, like, a, a phone ticket. And it was, it was a little weird. Like, when he pulled me over, he was like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, actually, I have no idea. He's like, you were on your phone. And I was like, no, no, I wasn't. He's like, yeah, you were. I was like, no, I wasn't. I was like, where does this leave us? Obviously, I got a fucking ticket. So I went to court today, and I was a little nervous because I haven't got a ticket in a while. And uh, it was in the middle of nowhere, like Kerhonkson. And it was like an hour. Yeah, exactly, Kerhonkson. Where the fuck is that? So, like, I was nervous. I was like, oh, I don't want to be, like, profiled like a punk ass. So, like, I wore a button-up shirt and everything. I get there, and it's, like, the most white trash people I have ever seen in my life. And I was like, oh, we're good. And then the judge comes out, and it's, like, the fucking oldest guy I've ever seen in my life. And he's just like, all right, Sean, you got a cell phone ticket, and uh, you got no points on your license, so... uh, I guess uh, we're going to drop it down to a stop sign ticket. And I was like, oh, that's good. Look behind me, and all the fucking people were just staring at me like, this motherfucker right here got off. Wow. Yeah, that was a, that was a little rough. Yikes. <laughs> Sean. Wow. Did that really happen today? It actually did happen so today. So what, what were you going to talk about if that didn't happen today? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Would you have signed up if that nothing burger story Ma- didn't maybe, happen today? Maybe. Yeah. You would have. Oh. I've, I've, I've never done stand-up before. And I've, oh, we I've know. Always, yeah, I know, right? That definitely showed. That's beyond beyond. I was interested stand-up. to see what happened, but yeah. nothing happened. Did so. anything happen? No, li- literally nothing happened. Like I was like worried about it all day. And then like I got there. And like I said, it was like... Way different than I thought. It was like this old ass, like let me ask you something. Let me place. ask you something. My mind is blown because you know that it. You know the show, right? Yeah. You yeah. know that it's a comedy show, I know. and you're admitting <laughs> that there's nothing funny about the story. No, there's the literally show. nothing. So what is your? I don't. Know, I, w- I was gonna try for the angle to be funny. Like I thought about it earlier, and it was pretty funny. You were gonna so. try for the angle of being funny. What does that mean <laughs> to you? I don't. Like what is? Clearly, that mean? I have no idea. You have no idea. Okay, let's check in with... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, that's just absolutely... You literally, admittedly chose an unfunny story <laughs> for your first time pulled out of the bucket. So can, we're just going to pull somebody else can, out of the bucket. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. 
Let's do it. Back hey. to the bucket we go. Can, yeah. I, can I just say, uh, we've had a couple uh, episodes on the road lately where, like, if you're a fan of the show and you don't have anything, like, like jokes, don't like, you don't up. have to sign up. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's cool that you're here. We appreciate it. But, like, don't do that. Yeah. I, can't, I, can't believe, I can't believe we even have to say that on I this know. show. Like, why would you want to die a slow death? We need to think of something that we do every time that happens. You know, like something. Yeah, it's just tell them that that was nothing. Make them feel like shit and then send them on their way. Like bring a spray bottle and spray them like a yeah. cat. Yeah. Okay. Put your hands together for your final comedian of the night. Igor Drown, everyone. Igor. Oh, here he is. Here he is. This guy's on a fucking mission. Holy shit, everyone, I didn't think I was going to get picked is what everybody says when they come up here, but I totally did because I put my name in a bucket full of people that might get picked tonight. I actually made the bucket tonight. That was me. I didn't put my name on it. So we have a redneck ghost problem in uh, upstate New York, where I'm from. Uh, (laughs) Sounds crazy, but um, sometimes I'll go uh, take a shit and... uh, I'll get out of the bathroom, my beer will be half gone. (laughs) I'll go to uh, smoke my uh, bowl, and my bowl will be scraped for resin. The thing looks brand new every time I use it. (laughs) I'll go get a gas, Uh, I go in, I buy some scratch off tickets, I'm pumping gas, and then there's a monster sticker on the back of my windshield. I get back inside my car and all my scratch off tickets are scratched off. Fuck yeah, dude. Yo, yo, craziest shit ever. Are you, this, about, are you about to break out into a freestyle rap No, 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 right no, 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 no. This guy right here, Steven. Yeah. We fucking grew up together in Burlington. I haven't seen this kid since he was a crazy fucking drug addict motherfucker. Yeah. This is the first time I see this kid in like 10 fucking years and he's wow. on stage, dude, Hell doing yeah. good with his life. Yo, one million percent better than what he was 10 years ago. You're doing good, bro. I love that. Keep it up. Keep it up. And I think 10 years from now, you're going to be a million times better than you were today as well. That is so interesting. Igor, that is so fucking cool. You're so smooth and collected up here. You've been doing stand-up a couple years? Mm, This is my first time on stage. What? Really? Wow. That's so cool. Wow, it's possible to do this for the first time and prepare and execute as if though you've seen the show more than one time. That's incredible. <laughs> Fucking amazing. You live Thanks, around man. here? Uh, I live in upstate New York, right across the lake from Burlington, Vermont. Well, I don't that know if you lives. know this or not, but I am really uh, excited that you made it to this show because we're never going farther <laughs> north in New I York. I know I heard that ever. podcast. Toronto, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, uh, that's incredible. What do you do for work up there? Uh, it's boring as fuck, and I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, okay. If you don't want to. It's boring as fuck. Any Hub. fun hobbies or uh, anything like that? Anything you do? Anything in your life, your past that we should know about? Anything exciting? Um, I'm originally from Russia. I moved here when I was like 12. Really? Um, oh, your parents? Crazy story. Yeah. yeah, my parents are from Russia as well. I got adopted Super, right. to get citizenship. Oh, okay. Crazy story. I didn't know they had bison in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your fucking head and shoulders. Does the, does the You're Dude, a bovine creature totally if I've ever agree. seen one. Totally agree. This crazy story better not have to do with you getting pulled over while texting. No, uh, one time when I was in high school, um, I got arrested for smoking pot. And they put me on probation. And I had to speak to a probation worker. And I was really political at the time. I was 16. And um, I told the probation worker, somebody ought to shoot the president which was George Bush at the time, and Secret Services came to my fucking school, dragged me out of school, brought me to my house, searched my whole house, and told me that kill my entire family. Wow, they said that? Yeah. They go, go, we will kill your entire family. Literally, that's what he said to me, and he said, nobody will ask one question. (laughs) Literally, dude. And from that day on, I didn't fuck with really, I have really bad news for you, Igor. Uh, (laughs) You just said that on a podcast about the Secret (laughs) Service, who probably can kill your entire family. They probably will. (laughs) This is such a crazy way to murder your family. It's like hilarious and I just dramatic have to get that at the out same there. time. Just in case they do it one day, just so you guys know, that's what they're going to do. We really you know? do. <laughs> All right. Uh, your, your name's Igor? 
Yeah. You're like if the machine was a cotton candy machine. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) All right, Mr. President, you can uh, chill out for a bit. Igor, uh, so the Secret Service did that, and um, and then you, uh, your parents are Russian. What are they doing here? Uh, my mom actually married an American guy. She got a divorce, and I got adopted. Uh, she got a divorce. You That's got how I got citizenship. Oh. That's cool. The legal way. You got adopted by what, like a high school buddy's parents or something? Nah, just some random hippie dude. He actually doesn't even live in this country anymore. Where does he live? Whoa. Thailand. Wow. Wow, sketchy yeah, as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was your mom a... Pr- was your mom a prostitute? Like a Russian I'm prostitute? I'm starting to think so. Yeah. Maybe. My goodness. I don't talk to her much. But you must be really grateful for that guy that adopted you. In the no, I am. This country's great. Uh, yeah. I love America. <laughs> Please don't do anything to me. Dude, I love this guy sounds like a spy if I've ever heard yeah, of him before. Yeah, dude, for sure. The Secret Service can kill his family because they never existed. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible, Igor. What do you do for fun? Fun hobbies? You seem like a paintball I, assassin. <laughs> I work all the fucking time and I just listen to podcasts. I've been listening to you guys since day one, first mm-hmm. podcast. Wow. That yeah, is... I was going to fly out to Cali for the summer with my brother um, to see you guys, but then you guys just happen to be here. How, you have, I a, got you have a brother? Yep. Your real brother? Blood brother? I have 12 siblings all together. <laughs> really? Yeah. And did that one guy that moved to Thailand adopt all of you? Uh, no, he only adopted like three of us. Wow. Did he like pick like uh, like at a dog pound? Like, oh, that one's cute. I'll take that yeah. one. Uh, the one with the s- tightest asshole? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more like that. Uh, <laughs> definitely got that vibe from him. No. Uh, Is that true? Really? No, 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 no. Oh. no. My older siblings are just older and they weren't living with my parents anymore uh-huh. at the time. All right. Well, I fucking loved your set, man. Incredible for a first time. Thanks, uh, man. I mean, just mind-boggling. Yeah. Um, for a first-time set, I thought for sure two to four years, and uh, you're so comfortable up here. How are you? Why do you think you feel so natural up here? I don't know, dude. I, I thought I was gonna freak the fuck out when I came on here. <laughs> But uh, I, I don't know. I honestly I don't know. I've never been on stage before in my life. That's crazy. Well, you got to keep man. on doing this, Thanks, man. man. Yeah, you, you certainly. I think. I think you. I think we're all finding out that you uh, have some very natural talent up here. Thank you, man. Very rarely do more people get more calm when they hit the stage, but you just did. One more time for your final comedian, Igor Drown. We did it. We fucking did it, people. And uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, thank you so much. The first ever Kill Tony Poughkeepsie. Thank you, uh, everybody, for coming out. We're going to be back there taking pictures with you, slinging posters and pins. There's the, uh, the brand spanking new Kill Tony pin available for, uh, for you. And there's also a Tony Hinchcliffe pin. If you'd like, I can, I can draw facial hair on it. Uh, it comes without facial hair, but I can put facial hair on. I leave the spot in the middle of my mustache blank. Um, and, uh, yeah, Jeremiah Watkins, everybody, make some noise for him. There he is. <laughs> Jeremiah Wonders is his podcast. A new episode with Dean Del Rey is out now. Another roadcast coming up. A Jeff Ross episode coming up. He's got Jeremiah Watkins on YouTube. The new Reagan and Watkins album available at ReaganandWatkins.com. And you guys have some amazing tour dates coming up. Why don't you tell the listeners about that? Uh, yeah, we'll be in San Diego. We'll be in at Phoenix and Stand Up Live in mid-July in Huntington Beach. And uh, bringing William Montgomery and uh, Joel Menez to the Huntington Beach show. So it'll be fun. I love it. Jeremiah. How loud can this place get for the great Schulberg, Joel Jimenez, huh? <laughs> Joelberg's on Twitter at Mostly Sorry. This is his first time performing comedy in uh, Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Shout out to John for providing the drums tonight. Hey, John. Fucking winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Heck yeah. And uh, we love you guys. This is so fun. I mean, I gave you that information for a reason. 10 p.m. tomorrow, if you have the... uh, if you have the balls, we're so excited about who our guest is. So, uh, I am excited, too. Just a little inside information. How about one more time for Brian Redman? He needs the love tonight. And uh, thank you to you guys. Good night, everybody. See you guys.